Okay, we're back on our train. I had to end up coming Friday, got busy Thursday. And I'm filming on my phone because I left my extra GoPro batteries at home charging. And my current GoPro battery only has 18%. So we're gonna have to do the best we can filming this job on my phone. I'll try to prop it up. All right, but I'm gonna get this top off and then we'll get back to y'all. All right, guys, all the refrigerants out. I've got the copper cut. Here goes nothing. I got it. It moved. Yep. It broke. It broke off. But I still think I can thread the new one on there. Yeah, I think I can. I'm gonna clean up those threads with a wire brush and then try to screw the new one on. All right, guys, I had to pull the compressor out. I had to chisel some of the uh, some of the uh, old rotor lock off the bottom, and I've hit it with a wire brush. So now we're gonna see if I can get this thing to thread. This is the new one. Okay, my phone cut off on temperature, but we should be okay now. It's going easy. It's definitely threading. And I'm I'm barely pushing. I mean, when I tell you guys I'm not putting hardly any pressure, I'm 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 putting very little pressure. Okay, I got it all the way on. Let's stand it up and see. Yeah. I got it. All right, I'm gonna put it together with the new gasket and everything and uh, put the copper piece on, put some nylog on it. And we'll go from there. Success. All right, she's back in. I re-welded both of them. 162 pounds of pressure, nitrogen. No bubbles. No bubbles. Pressure's holding steady. 
We'll transfer into vacuum here in just a minute. She's fixed. Eight pounds later of RS44B R453A. Using the RS44B, uh, which is R453A. You can see it right there. Eight degree superheat or subcooling. Got a TXV. Leak free, fixed.